Are you okay with your prophet mounting a nine-year-old when he's 54 years old? No, that that was that was something, uh, you know, a false rumor because I checked about it and it, it You're never says from the pit of hell. All the hadiths and the scholars say it happened. Don't let me embarrass you. You're lying. There is not a tradition from any Muslim source, Bukhari, Muslim, Nisai, Tirmidhi, Ibn Kathir, that denies it. Stop lying. So I'm going to ask you the question again. Are you okay with a 54-year-old pervert having no, sex okay, with a nine-year-old? No, I'm not okay with it, but she was Good. she was an adult. But she was an what? adult. She was an adult. I'll give you $10 million, quote this Muslim source, not modern source. Give me your ancient source, Ibn Kathir, Ibn Ishaq, Tabari, Qurtubi, Bukhari Muslim that says she was an adult, or I'm going to embarrass you. Give me the source. Not Muslim sources of today that are embarrassed like you. Give me your ancient sources. Bukhari, Muslim, Tirmidhi, Tabari, Qurtubi, Ibn Kathir, Ibn Taymiyyah, Ibn Khaim al Jawziyah. I'm going to wait. Give it to me. Because I'm going to not you, quote you, Ibn Kathir. Can you show me a source of Ibn Kathir? It says that. What? Can you show me a source of Ibn Kathir? I'll give you 10 million sources and embarrass you. Thank you for being stupid to ask me that. Here, let me show it to you. I want from Ibn Kathir. You have from Ibn Kathir, right? Ibn Kathir. Oh, my pleasure. A lot of snack bar. Here's Ibn Kathir. Here you go. Al Sira al Nabawiya, the life of the Prophet Muhammad, translated in English by Trevor Lagasik, volume two, pages 93, 94. Let me put it on the screen. You asked for Ibn Kathir. I hope not, you're not going to run. You're stuck with it now, buddy, because what is going to say? Let me give it to you piecemeal, because I got more filth from your Prophet that I want you to say you're okay with. First part Yunus bin Bukhair stated from Hisham. Bin Urwa, from his father, who said, the messenger of God married Aisha three years after the death of Khadija. At that time of the contract, Aisha had been a girl of six. When he married her, she was nine. The messenger of God died when Aisha was a girl of 18. I'm not done yet. Wait. The tradition, this tradition is considered gharib, unique in this line. Al-Bukhari had related from Ubayd bin Ismail. From Abu Usama, from Hisham bin Urwa, from his father who said Khadija died three years before the immigration of the Prophet. He allowed a couple of years or so to pass after that. And then he contract married with Aisha when she was six. Thereafter consummating marriage with her when she was nine years old. What Urwa stated here is mursul, incomplete as we mentioned above, but in its content it must be judged as mutassil, uninterrupted. His statement, now watch here. He contracted marriage with Aisha when she was six, thereafter consummating marriage with her when she was nine. Watch here. Is not disputed by anyone. Let me repeat it again. This has been Kathir. This statement that Muhammad wrote a contract to marry when she was six and then consummated it when she was nine is not disputed by anyone and is well established in the Sahih collections of traditions and elsewhere. Now, I can give you more, Tabari and all, but I want you to now tell me, are you okay that the unanimous teaching of all the scholars of Islam before modern times, because you're embarrassed, say no one disputes your 54-year-old pervert had sex with a nine-year-old? You okay with that? No, it never says he had some kind of physical relation, but maybe it is a consummated tradition. Consummated means in Arabic to physically consummate and penetrate. Please don't play that game. I'm going to ask you the question again. Are you okay with your prophet? At 54, having sex with a nine-year-old when he's old enough to be her grandfather. Are you okay with that? Uh, no. Good. So you're not okay with your God ordering jihadis to rape captive women who are married. Good. That means you're still not gone too far beyond where Satan's filled you. And you're not okay with a 54-year-old pervert having sex with a nine-year-old. Good. But it gets worse for you. In chapter 65, verse 4 of your Quran, it says that Muslim men can marry, divorce young girls who haven't even had their periods. Your religion sanctions pedophilia. That a grown man can marry a girl who hasn't had her period, a minor, have sex with her, divorce her for someone else to marry her. And that's in chapter 65, verse 4. Are you okay with that? Uh, where, where are you quoting this from? Can you just tell me that? I just said from? 65, verse 4, Surat al-Talaq, the chapter of divorce, the rules for divorce. 65, verse 4. If you don't mind, can you please put it on the screen? Yes, because sir. it's hard to check it. Okay. All right. And those of your woman as have passed the age of monthly courses, for them the idda. Now, before that, I, I may even need to explain these for you because you may not even know anything about Islam. Do you know what an idda is? Idda? Uh, no. See? Say it again. I want everyone to hear it. What's an idda? No, uh, I'm not sure. 
So here you are. You left Jesus, whom you did not know, for a religion you don't know because you don't even know what an idda is. And you're not embarrassed of yourself, but it's okay. May God have mercy on you. Let me explain to you Islam, which you don't know. Idda is the waiting period when a woman is divorced. In Islam, when you marry a woman, have sex with her, and you divorce her, she has to wait three months. Idda, three monthly cycles. So now here, in chapter 65, Muhammad is asked the question, what about the woman we marry, but they don't have periods, menopause, they're old. And what about the young girls we marry who haven't even started their periods? How long should they wait when we have sex and divorce them to remarry? Now let me read it for you. And of those of your women as have passed the age of monthly courses, for them the idda prescribed period, if you have doubts about their periods, is three months. So a woman who's menopause, no periods, when she's married and has sex, she waits three months. But now watch this. And for those who have no courses, i.e., they are still immature, and those who have not even had their periods because they're immature, their idda is three months. Are you okay with this? Are you okay with your God saying there are young girls, Muslims can marry, who are immature, not mature enough, they haven't even had their periods, but they're being married, and men are having sex with them, divorcing them, so they can marry someone else, and they too wait three months. Tell me you're okay with this. Do you have a daughter, by the way? I don't want her name. I just want to know. You have a daughter? No. Okay. See, that's why, why it doesn't upset you. I have two daughters. Now, I want you to be honest before God because you're going to face Jesus in judgment. Would you be okay with a Muslim man taking your friend's six-year-old daughter and asking to marry her and then having sex with her when she's nine? Oh. Be honest before God. You're going to stand before Jesus like mom's going to stand before Jesus on the day of judgment. Uh, maybe maybe is is this kind of stuff which was added by someone into the Quran? Because I don't think... Oh, uh, these... you're no longer a Muslim. Because you just said it's added to the Quran. You just destroyed the Quran and you just admit it's corrupted. You go say uh, that to him, they'll beat you no, to death. No, no, I mean to say translation or some issues because... There is, the translation is accurate. And if you want me to give you Ibn Kathir, see now you're playing games. You want me to give you Ibn Kathir to explain this verse for you? No, it's an accurate translation of the Arabic. So how come... How can we have such things in Quran? It's holy. Who said it's holy? This is our point. The Quran is trash. It's garbage. You were the one deceived into following this trash. And you left the holy son of God for this. What holy man? Who deceived you? You want me to read Ibn Kathir for you now? Can I? I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. Because you're too scared to say us. Here it is. Allah the exalted clarifies the waiting period of the woman in menopause. And that is the one whose menstruation has stopped due to her older age. Her it does three months instead of three Monthly cycles for those who menstruate, which is based upon the ayah. The same for the young who have not yet reached the years of menstruation. Let me repeat. The same applies for the young who have not reached the years of menstruation. They did this three months like those in menopause. You want me to give you Tabari too? And you want me to give you Ibn Hajar Askalani? How many you want me to give you to tell you this is what the Arabic says? So I'm going to ask you the question again. Are you okay with your God? whom you went after and betrayed the true God, Jesus Christ, for this God that you thought is the God of the Bible, are you okay with your God in this verse saying, men like you can marry young girls who haven't had periods, have sex with them, and if you divorce them, then they wait three months for someone else to marry them. Are you okay with it? I still don't hear an answer. No, I'm not okay with this stuff, but at the same time, it's difficult to understand whether these are from the Holy Quran. Do you want me to give you the Arabic of 65 verse 4? I just gave you the Quran. It's 65 verse 4. And I gave you Ibn Kathir explaining it. Stop playing games. It's in your book. You can't run from it. Are you also okay with chapter 4 verse 34 that tells you if you fear rebellion on the part of your wife, you can beat her? You okay? Tell me, I want you to be honest. Don't be ashamed of following Muhammad because you betrayed Jesus and you insulted the blood of Christ to follow this man. Say, I'm okay with it. Are you married, by the way? Yeah. So are you okay if you fear rebellion in part of your wife and you warn her and she doesn't listen and you stop having sex with her, see she doesn't listen, that you can beat her? And is she okay with that? No. Say it again? No. And yet you follow this religion and you betray Jesus Christ. How could you do that? How could you with a clear conscience live with yourself, leaving the beautiful Jesus and his apostles like Paul with their beautiful teaching for this man and his God? How could you do that? Because you didn't know Jesus. So you need to come back to your senses and go back to Christ. Look at this, guys. Look at his name. Christ, prodigal son. He changed his name. The son is back. You're going to make me cry now. You are the prodigal son who's returned. We love you for the sake of Jesus, brother.